In my first example, I'm gonna show you how to export this entire design onto a new website. All right, so to achieve that, all you have to do is to come over here to portability, make sure you give this a name, and then you want to export DV Builder layout. So you're going to get this home.json uh, file. So here is my new site. To import it back in, what you want to do is to click on these little dots here and then click on portability. But this time you want to select import. Next, you want to drag and drop it here. Or you can just click and navigate on your computer where it is. And then you can replace existing content. And also you can import presets if you want to. But I'm just going to keep things simple here and import DV Builder layout. So you're going to notice now in, in a moment, this now is going to be transformed into a new design. And here it is. Now it's on my brand new site with all the effects that came along with it. All right, so in my next tip, I'm gonna show you how to save this layout onto the Divi Cloud. So to achieve that, you wanna come over here to this plus button, sign into cloud. Now, in your case, if you haven't signed up for Divi Cloud, it's quite cheap. I'll leave a link in the video description below. This is where you can save all your designs in the cloud and pull them down whenever you want to use them. So what you want to do is to click on this little icon here and then give this a name. So I'm going to say Mac 2023. And then this is where now you can say save to cloud. Now, this category is here. You can always create all your categories if you want to, but I'm just gonna keep things simple here. I'm just gonna uh, save this to one and then click on save to cloud. So that whole layout now is in the cloud. Whenever I need it, I can just go ahead and uh, log into cloud, download it, and it'll be on my page. In my next tip here, I'm gonna show you how to make changes to one item and then apply it across the whole section in just a few clicks. So let's say I'm working on this design. I'm gonna go into my um, settings here. And I'm gonna change a few things, maybe the icon color. So I'm gonna click here, go to my icon, and I'm gonna change this color like that. But I want this color now to apply to all my blurbs on this section or across the whole website. What I can do now is I can save this one. Okay, so what I wanna do now is to come over to this one that I've just made changes to, right click, and then you want to click on extend blurb styles. Now it's going to ask us, uh, throughout what? So you click on this drop down. In this case, it's throughout this section. So I'm going to choose this section, click extend, and notice how the rest now changed to the new color. Just like that, this will save you a lot of time. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So I'm going to go to this image here. So what I want to try and achieve with this image is to have a different effect on hover. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to design, come all the way down to filters. So on hover, I want to have this saturation at 100%. But on the desktop here, or on the normal state, I want to reduce this to zero. So this is zero. This is 100%. Okay, great. Now let's test this. Let's test this and see if this is working. Let's go ahead and exit the visual builder here. So now when I hover, you can see here that the color is changing. So you can do use this in a very stylistic way and achieve this just on hover. Now, what we can also do in my next tip is to add animation to this on hover. Let me show you how to do that. So you click here to go into the module settings, come over here to design, transformation. So what you wanna do is to click on this little icon here, and then on the hover state, this is where you want to add the zoom effect. So let's go with four. You don't wanna make it too much, so four is fine. Make sure you test it first, Yes, so this is working. So now you can go ahead and save that. So let's test and see if this is working. So here's our image here. And when I hover over it, you can see it comes to life and it zooms in. All right, in my next tip, I'm gonna show you how to make an item sticky while you're scrolling. So let's say you want this image here to stick while you're scrolling. So what you do is you go into this image here, set over to design, advanced, scroll effects, and then over here, I'm gonna say stick to the top and then save. Now let's test and see if this is going to work. So I'm gonna exit the visual builder and you can see now it's stuck to the top. Now there's also other features that you can do and that is to make it stick within the actual section because as you can see here, it is covering a lot of information there. So that doesn't look very good. So we're gonna go back, go to advanced, scroll effects. And now we can click here and choose a section 
and then save. So this time it is going to scroll and stick within that section. And then after that, that section goes by, it'll just continue on. So here are the results. It's stuck and then it continues on. In my next example, I'm gonna create a new button preset. So I'm gonna come over here and duplicate this one here just to save me a bit of time. So I'm gonna go into my settings, go into design button and make a few changes to my button here. So let's change the button background color and the border. All right, so now that I have a new style, what I can do is I can go to my existing button here, update this new button preset, say yes. And this is going to happen across the whole website. So you notice that the button here on the top also changed color. So when you update your preset, it pretty much changes all the buttons across the whole website. In my next example, I'm gonna show you how to use background masks. So these masks work by using a solid color. So let's say I choose to use this color here. And then if I come over here to my mask, I can now add my mask and look at that. So we have different ones to choose from. So if I click on this drop down, I can choose this style here. I can go with so many styles like that. Now, while this is selected, what you could also do is to use some background. Now, this is a bonus tip. If I click here to add my background uh, gradients, you can see now that this has changed. So I can play around with my colors now by coming over here, choose my color, and you can see it is updated here. And if I go to this color here, I can also change it. And now we have a gradient. Now we can further customize this by coming over here and setting my gradient to about say 90%. And now it's moving from left to right. All right, in this tip, I'm gonna show you how to export your theme builder elements to another website. So you come over here to theme builder, then you wanna to go to portability. So now you can say export, but if you don't want to export all of them, you can just uh, uncheck that and then this will give you options to export whatever it is that you want to export. But in this example, all I have is the header and footer. So you can say um, header and footer, click export header and footer has been exported. So if you want to export this onto a new site, all you have to do is to open the new site, go to theme builder and then click here on portability. But this time you want to click on import and this is where you would drag and drop it like that. Now, if you have presets, you can leave this unchecked, but if you want to override them, you can just uh, override them by importing the presets of this item here. Now, if uh, just to be on the safe side, you can also download a backup and this will save a backup just in case things don't work out the way you want. Okay, so in my next tip, let's say things are not working out on your website and pretty much you want to go back to the old version that was working well. So you would come over here to theme options, come all the way here to updates, and this is where you can roll back to a previous version. But you need to make sure that you've entered your API key and username for this to work. Otherwise, you won't be able to roll back. So this feature here is for rolling back after, say, a new version of Divi is not, is not working well on a new update. Oh, by the way, if you haven't purchased Divi, the link to that is in the video description below. This also comes with my bonus, and this is a course that teaches you how to design professional-looking websites with Divi. These are my tips. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.